Onshape now includes the ability to automatically generate dynamic explode lines for your exploded views. Let's quickly take a look at some of the functions of this highly requested feature. When creating an explode step, you'll now find a tick box to turn on automatic explode line creation. It's enabled by default. The explode line is created reflecting how the part has been moved. Editing or adding additional steps or directions to a part will automatically update the dynamic explode line. If required, you can use the selection field to select edges, faces, or vertices on the part to realign the explode line location, or even create multiple explode lines for a single part. And finally, explode lines will automatically be shown on the drawing whenever displaying the selected exploded view. If we wanted to fasten two components with a prescribed rotation angle, we traditionally would need to edit a mate connector and apply the rotation there. With this update, we can apply the rotation directly in the mate feature itself. After selecting our mate connectors, under the offset option, we can additionally select which axis to rotate about and specify a rotation angle. This rotation feature is available in all mate types that allow an offset to be specified. You may now select to show sketches in an assembly drawing view. As with all sketches in assemblies, they must first be inserted to the assembly explicitly. After placing the drawing view, you can right click and select to show sketches. Sketches that have been shown may be dimensioned or have annotations or callouts attached to them. The fillet feature now includes a new option to allow edge overflow. This option selects if model edges should be maintained or if they're allowed to adjust as a function of the filleted face creation. 